So, hello and welcome to a new kind of episode. This is a error analysis for Pekka. He wrote me that his lever script doesn't work as expected. So he sent me a few screenshots and his project files. And now I want to make an error analysis, how to get on the error. So may some of you learn how to debug things and go on with errors. So first, let's figure out what happens while starting the game. So he has a character and startup script. There should be the map to start, but there is maybe just, yeah. He just has one map, so we can use this. So let's make this code quite okay. So <coughs> we start at the map and let's see what should happen. Okay. So we have a room with a chest and a script. Okay. What happens here? Okay, gives an item. But that's not a problem. So, um, Pekka, you have misaligned walls, I see. That should be one set level lower than now. So you can avoid the gaps. Also. Do this very well. Okay. Script and a script. Okay, but it's not a question. This should be the leverage with the problem. So what happens here? Let's go to the details. We have the script. Let's inspect set entity script self. So he deletes the script at the leverage itself. Then he locks the player movement. Then he puts an entity called bet at bet target. It should be a tile group. He plays a sound, he plays an animation on the leverage with name switch on. Okay. Waiting half a second, lock the camera, move the camera to gate, play sound, play the animation gate open, show group, dungeon room one, play global property, dungeon room visit, set global property. Okay. Wait a second, replace navigation. Wait, reset camera, set entity script, entity gate, player movement locked faults. So, okay, maybe we should investigate what happens while interacting with the leverage. It doesn't save it. Just want to see what happens in the game. He wrote me if it's fixed, but I'm simply on it. Okay, so what happens? P and Gene 1 function, ICCP, known incorrect as RGB profile. So the PNG is misencoded or the erroneous encoded. So, new game. Get the book. <clears throat> the liver should be beyond the door. Let's interact, okay. Works. Not as expected. If I walk against the door, it opens and then it closes again, so this isn't correctly. Let's investigate the problem. So how Pekka, how can you interact with the leverage without opening the door? So it's my door script, okay. In which version? So Okay, should be the latest one. Okay, what happens? The door is this one and is placed in the back. So there have to be a property. It 
not even has a script so you can set this by default and additional you can add inverse direction as described in the Xanji's magic door 2.0 configuration guide and you should set this to true so it is handled as your door has the door object in the front so every rotation uh, uh, rotation of um, positions is now correct so okay we can simply delete this and add it again so the script and the properties are set now that should do the trick so okay let's start again and now we should be able to go through the door Hmm. And there it is. Okay. Okay, we can go through the door pretty well. And we can not use the stairs. So, this has incorrect navigation lines. I should check it before. Uh, so, this is wrong. <coughs> you have to erase it and then adjust the stairs correctly. Where are your stairs? Is this, no. Where? So maybe you should use a um, thumbnail, not from the front, so it's more obvious to see the details. Okay, this is also misaligned, so you should place it at this level. No, the tabs. Okay, it's not part of the job. So, I should let him fix it himself. And one more loading screen. So, okay. The script should place a bed at a specific tile, playing animations, reconnecting root and toggle the leverage so first let's check what happens and then we can see what's the problem so the script works now let's use the stairs kill the bat okay and here is the leverage so Arrow input entity in the lit entity. Okay, that should be easy. So in the script must be a put entity command. Maybe let's put them to the script. Um, deliver. Is it what he wrote me? Um. Where is the message? It only is lever, lever script. So, okay. So can we can use the script editor and we have more space for code. Okay. Put entity bed. Entity bed. Okay, so there should be a bed with an ID bed and a field with the name bed target. Okay, so obviously there isn't a bed. Well, it 
don't has any name, idea, something else. So intentionally, it should be the problem. There is no bed at all. So let's try it. So if I get it right, the put entity takes an entity with an ID and sets it to a specific position. So the entity should have the ID bed. So let's try this out. So this is bed, and this should be placed to the bed group. Where's the bed group? Is there a bed group? Ah, oh, we can use tire uh, groups. There is no bed group. Okay. So let's check this in also. Bad target. So, okay, you don't have a bed and you don't have a bad target, so your script couldn't work at all. Okay, let's define the bad target, okay? So, bad target. So, maybe this makes clear what is the problem with the script at all. So, okay, uh, so Pekka, you have to give an idea to your enemy to put that on a specific tile. Otherwise, that is not the correct script command. So now it should place the bed. Let's check this. So probably your script is conceptual false, or you're misunderstood how to use the scripting commands. So let's try figure out what happens. Away. So, pretty good. Invalid camera position gate. So you have also to select uh, tile and set the entity ID gate. Okay, so maybe I should show you how to find the problems by yourself. So let's go to the script commands itself. You use the entity, put entity in the wrong way. So let's go to my Chrome and then oh no. I pre-open it. So put entity. So RPG in the box slash docs is your friend. So put entity shows you how to use the script. So it's designed to put an object or character to a specific tile. So you have to have an object or an character already living or being positioned in your map so you can take it and set it to another position not to spawn it and you have to describe an entity and there are several methods you can describe it by id maybe by self but not in this way because self in the script of an object is the object uh, you also don't want to put the player um, initiator is also false, so you can use just the entity ID in the script. And then you have to use a tile also in, by an ID or defining it by a tile, bracket, uh, the position and something. So you can use this. And what was the other error? Move camera over time. So move camera over time. And this should also use a destination or string. Okay, so you have to put a coordinate. You cannot use gate. Uh, maybe you can, I'm not sure about it. What is the string? Coordinates, it's pretty clear. But what is the string? I don't know. Look at target entity chest. 
So case could also could be an object. So maybe an entity ID would work. Otherwise, you can set the coordinate. So I will do it for you, and then I send you the the files back so you can fix itself. So maybe you now know what's your problem. So this position is minus three, minus sixteen, one. Minus three, minus sixteen, one. So you can use the keyword chord and then x minus 3, y minus 16, set 1 in 1.5 seconds transition time. So, okay. And then you have to play the sound gate. Play sound gate. Um, I don't know if this is right. Should it should be a file name, I think. Play sound. So here are several errors. Sound name string. So you have to play sound door open. Okay, I just know the I, I only know the play sound for my door script and then I use this the the, the sound file names. So acquire.wave maybe. Okay, but if this works, it's pretty interesting. Okay. And we show the group. Oh, I think it's also undefined. But let's see what happens now. So hopefully you can fix your problem self. There are several bugs to solve. So. Pretty good. A little bit of adjustion. Play animation in with an entity. So it's the same. You have to set a, an entity ID or the keyword play yourself something else. Or you have to use groups and you can use then um, the group entities. So set entity scripts at player movement. Play animation has failed, I think. Play animation entity gate. There is no entity gate. Okay. So that's not that problem. So if you want to play the entity gate, you have to set the entity gate. That's it. Simply save. And I will give it last try and then I will send the files back. It's a lot to do. So, the desired solution is to fix the problem in the script. So I can prove that the script is working now and he can build his problem by himself. So, sounds pretty good. So that should make it okay. So. Mission completed. So, Pekka, the rest is up to yours. So, as I told you, uh, I'm father and husband and I have two children, so <laughs> I have a lack on time. Um, being also busy <clears throat> with my tutorials. So, okay. Done. Um, that was the first try to make a live error analysis for someone else. I don't know if it's interesting for other people, so 
Um, if you like this kind of videos to make a detailed error analysis about specific problems for other people, um, please write it in the comments. So I am thinking about to continue with the series as um, FHQ or troubleshooting um, playlist. So thanks for your attention and hopefully I see you next time in an episode of the tutorials. Bye.